Hello everyone. Today I'll start using a live demo kind of presentation to show you the coding techniques and see how it works. First, let me introduce you a helper function called print. It prints out all the contents of a container and prefix it with a message of string. And here I have a vector of int c which contains a bunch of integers and I print c and original. See what it prints out? And the content of the vector is printed out successfully. So our environment is good to go. Today we'll talk about removing items from a container. Let's say I want to remove all the ones from the vector c. Remember in one of the previous video I mentioned that if there are uh, same function in a container's member function and uh, LXM function, you should prefer using the member function. So I start by searching the vector's member function, see if I, anything I can use. And I see there's a function called erase. Bingo! That's what I need. So here's what I'm gonna do. I use an iterator to iterate through the members of uh, the container C and if iter equal to 1 I erase it otherwise I just increment the iter and see how it goes as you see after the loop of erase all the ones are removed from the original vector mission complete although this code can get the job done this is actually a horrible way of removing items from a vector. When I remove the first one, all the items after that are moved one item toward the front. And when I remove the second one, all the items after that are once again move one item toward the front. This is a very inefficient way of removing items. If the size of the vector C is n and the number of items to be removed is m, then the complexity of this code is n times of m. This is a very inefficient way of removing item from a vector. A more efficient way is actually using uh, algorithm function remove. The algorithm function remove only moves the unremoved items to, to the front once instead of m times. So the complexity is n. Now let's comment out this for portion of the code and uh, see how it runs. Oops, we have a problem here. Although the unremoved items are moved toward the front as we expected, the vector C also contains some other items. As I mentioned before, algorithm functions has no idea about the containers. They only know the data through the iterators. So the algorithm function remove has no idea whether the data is stored on a dynamic array or a binary tree or a hash table. That is why it is impossible for the algorithm function remove to actually remove the items from the container. So this function remove will do what it can do which is move all the unremoved items to the front of the vector and then return an iterator which points to the new logical end of the new vector. So to complete the task of removal we need a pointer, an iterator to save the new end and then call the member function of the vector erase to actually remove the item. Now let's run it. Now the removal work is truly finished. We have removed all the ones in vector C and what will be the capacity of C? Let's check it out. As you see, the capacity of C is still 10. We have reduced the size of C from 10 to 5 and C is still occupying as much memory as it does before. If that piece of memory is important to you and you want to release them back to the system, there's one extra step to do. 
you can call the function shrink to fit, which will release the unused memory back to the system. Now let's run it. Now the capacity of C is reduced to 5. However, this function shrink to fit only exists in C11. If you are using old C, you can use the swap trick. And uh, this should also do the job of shrinking the memory. Now let's run it. As you see, now the capacity is 5, so the memory is shrinked. Now let's talk about remove elements from a list. Since we've just learned a lesson from the vector example, we'll use the algorithm function remove followed by the member function erase and run it. This also gets the job done for a list, but this is not the optimal way of removing items. List has a member function called uh, remove and this remove function can do the job of removing items more efficiently. Why is that? As we mentioned, the algorithm function remove does the job by moving the unremoved items toward the front of the vector. But the member function remove doesn't do that. The member function remove knows the data structure of a linked list so it does the remove by tweaking the forward pointer and the backward pointers, which is more efficient. So now this is a faster, easier, and cleaner way of removing items for a list. Now let's look at remove elements from associative container or unordered containers. We have a multi-set of integer C and we want to remove all the ones. We look at the multiset mem function and we don't see a, a dedicated remove function like the list does. So maybe we should go back to use the remove algorithm followed by erase function. The answer is no, you don't. Although multiset doesn't have a dedicated remove mem function, it has a much better version of erase function. The multisets erase function can remove items by value and do it quickly. Let's comment out this portion of the code and run it. The multisets erase function only needs logarithmic time to do the removal instead of linear time. And for unordered container, it is even faster. It only needs amortized constant time to do the erase. So in both cases, you should use the member function erase to do the function of removal. A summary of removing elements from a container. For vector or deck, use algorithm remove followed by member function erase. For list, use member function remove. For associative container or unordered container, use member function erase. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. Feel free to subscribe to my channel so when I post a new video, you will be updated. Or you can go to my channel's homepage and see what I'm offering today. Bye bye.